Good morning. I'd like to welcome everybody to Sunday school. So kiddos, look at your adults and say, welcome to Sunday school. Louder. Welcome to Sunday school. I'm so glad to see you guys today. I'm Jackie, the Kids Director here at Meadowbrook Church, and it is so good to see and to be able to worship along with the kiddos today. Um, earlier this morning, I was right behind or right in front of a whole group of kids, and it was the best sound to hear and to worship with children. So it is good and right that they are with us today. Now, let's get to it. So we are familiar with some numbers that we learned last time. So we're going to put those numbers on the screen. And if you need a little bit of a cheat sheet, we have it right here. So we talked about how many books in the Bible there were. So how many are there? Now that is a lot, right? 66 is a lot of books. And those are different ways that God is communicating through different people. He's communicating his plan and his goodness. Now, how many books in the New Testament? Very good. And how many in the Old Testament? 39. And how many genres? Remember the genres we were learning? How many of, of those are there? Five. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> There's five of them, right? So let's count to five with them. Shh, let's do, we're going to do it a couple of different ways because we're going to talk about genres today. So we're going to whisper as loud as we can to five. Let's start. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to clap it. One, two, three, four, five. Now, does anybody remember what these genres were? Anybody need some help? Very good. What was that first one, loud? La, everybody say. Law. Very good. The second one, does anybody remember this? It, it rhymes with history. Very good. The next one starts with a P. Fairy poetry. The next one, anybody remember this one? Yes, so the major prophets and the? Very good. Now the difference between the major and the minor, is one more important? No, what is, what is the difference? Yep, one is smaller and one is, thank you, Mary Ellen. One is smaller and one is longer, right? These are important to know, right? Because those are the lenses that we look at as we look at the certain book that we're going through. So does anybody remember Psalms when we were going through that? What genre was that in? Poetry, very good. And that's easy because we can think of Psalms, even though it doesn't start, sound like it starts with a P, it does. Psalms and... Um, poetry. They start with the same. Now, I'm going to open up. Now, we know, we talk about this in Sunday school, that Psalms is like smack in the middle. Now, if you were here the last time we did this, we talked about Psalm 139. So, Psalms. Does anybody know what that word means? Yep, say it loud. Songs. So we know what? We know that when we are looking at Psalms, that it's a book of poetry, and we know that it's a song. So those are pretty cool. We have different ways we know the lenses to put on. So we did this last time. So we're going to repeat it together. And if you have it memorized, that's awesome. So let's read this together. For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I love that. I love that we got to go through that together last, last month, which is pretty cool. Now, we are going to look at a new Bible verse for the next month before I get to see you again. So we're going to look at this one. Now it's right after, so it makes it a little bit easier. Now I'm going to say it, and then you're going to repeat it. So Psalm 139, 15 and 16. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together of the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All 
All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Love that. Don't you love that? So I want us to be able to look at this over the next month before I get to see you again. And kids, I would love it if you could draw me a picture and bring it to me next week of something that this reminds you of. Can you guys do that? Even adults, you could draw me pictures and send them to me. So we have that. Now, why do I keep going through Psalm 139? The reason is this. When I was in Bible school, I memorized this. It was so good. The whole thing I memorized because it was so important that I understood that God knew me and that he knew everything about me and he knew everything about the world. And it was really important that I understood that. So I'm going to ask us just a couple of questions. First, what are some of those funny, happy things that God knows about us? Can we think of any? Pastor Brian, what is something funny (laughs) and happy? Um, Oh, my mic's on. (laughs) (laughs) I like that you can. (laughs) You know, when it's a beautiful day outside and you get to be outside with your friends and family at the pool. Yeah, or today at the picnic. (laughs) Good plug. What's something else? Anything? Anything? Yes. I love that. We were talking, she has a new baby niece, Scarlet. Isn't that wonderful? God knows that. And it's pretty cool because we can look at these Bible verses and be reminded of Scarlet, right? It's pretty cool. Anybody have any animals? Yeah, he knows all about them. Anybody kind of nervous when they do stuff? Yeah, he knows all of that. What are some of those hard things that he knows about? Can anybody think of anything? Yeah. Yes. Sometimes when hard things happen in families, he knows about that, doesn't he? Yes. That was good. Kate. (laughs) Did you say babysitting? (laughs) So that's a good one. So babysitting kids that don't listen. Anybody parent? (laughs) Or babysit. But that's a good one, because that's brave to say, too. Sometimes we're doing these things, and we don't know what to do. That is like my life most of the time. You're doing stuff, and you're like, whoa, I don't know what I'm doing. God knows it all. It's kind of the thing that is one of the most amazing things as an adult, is to know that God is everywhere, and he knows everything. That's kind of nuts when I think about that. And so as an adult, talking to the kids and some of the adults, I want you to know that I am still in awe of that. It is still amazing as an adult to be like, oh my goodness, he's everywhere. He knows everything. So we're going to pray, and then we're going to move on. Father God, thank you so much that we got to be here today and learn about who you are. I pray, Father God, for everybody in this room that they would grow to know you, to love you, and to follow you. God, I pray that there would be miracles that happen in all of our lives. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen.